The change of guard is now complete. Herzia Levy is now the new IDF chief of uh, staff, taking over from Aviv Kochavi, who ended his 40-year service at uh, the Israeli army. The main ceremony took place right here at uh, the central headquarters of uh, the Israeli army in uh, central Tel Aviv with guards of honor for the incoming and the outgoing chiefs of staff. But it was a day full of uh, ceremonies. It began uh, this morning in uh, Jerusalem at the Prime Minister's office where Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had some very warm words for the incoming chief of staff. Let's listen. You will lead the IDF in the coming years. We trust your abilities. We wish you success. And I will say to you what Moshe Dayan said to Mayor Hartzion, the ranks on your shoulders, they are not decoration, but an operational ranks. They are not for beauty, they are a symbol. Good luck to you, Chief of Staff Herzl Levy, the 23rd Chief of Staff of the IDF. Thank you very much. Netanyahu chose to avoid the sensitive issue of uh, the political interference uh, within uh, the army. It's an issue that came uh, to the headlines recently due to the latest uh, coalition agreements, which mean that there are actually two ministers in the Ministry of Defense, not only the defense minister himself, uh, Yoav Gallant, but also a second minister in the Ministry of Defense, that minister being uh, Bezalel Smotrich, Benjamin Netanyahu, as I mentioned, chose to avoid that. But Gallant himself and Herzi Alevi both hinted uh, to the issue, Alevi saying that politics will stay out of the army, and Gallant saying that uh, uh, the army has all the backing needed from him, the Minister of Defense. Let's listen to their words. One important role is the unity of the command. Everyone has one commander. And above all, the chief of staff, the supreme commander under the defense minister and the, and the government, under my job. And as the law specifies, I will make sure that the chief of staff, Herzl Levy, will be able to fulfill his responsibility and that external pressures will be stopped in my office and will not reach the gates of the IDF. We'll prepare the IDF for war in front of uh, close and far regions. We will expand the quality drafting of the IDF from all parts of the population. We'll strengthen the reserves and we'll maintain the IDF as one with values and professionalism that has no other considerations but security. This is just one of the many challenges awaiting Herzi Alevi, not only politics in the army, but also Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, and many, many others. All of those are now the concerns of the new IDF chief of staff, Herzi Alevi. Jonathan Regev, I-24 News.